I am Claude, and we have a special guest with us. Hello, my name is Serge, and today we have with us Mrs. Anne Mary Brown. She is the founder and owner of SNL Organics, a natural hairline company. Yes. And today, in our special edition, we're going to talk about hair care, like you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so, stay tuned. Caucasian soft long hair and it was a self battle with myself and I just kept on um, buying wigs and weaves and relaxing my hair until my own, my own natural hair was very damaged and about 10 years ago I decided that you know it couldn't just be us as women of color that we cannot achieve long hair so I knew it was not us I knew there was something wrong with how we took care of our hair and that's when I started to focus on our hair. I took three years studying our texture here and what causes it to grow and what causes it to break. And so then and, and what did you find out as uh, the main causes of the, the breakdown? Well, the main causes of damage to our hair is a lack of moisture. Our hair is not strong as many other cultures, many, many other <laughs> ethnic backgrounds. Our hair is very uh, weak. We have a lot of weak points in every curl that we have. There's a weak point in every bend of the curl. And so our hair gets dry a lot. Our hair also lacks moisture. Our hair breaks very easily. And so I realized that from early on that if I want my hair to grow, I have to figure out uh, between strength and moisture how to keep that balance on my hair, on my scalp. Yes. I've been through a journey of changing my hair, so I've been reading a lot, and I see that there are different type of hairstyle. Mm. Does your product uh, work for every single different type of black hair? Okay, so my product works for anywhere within the level of two, so two A, B, C, the threes, A, B, C, and the fours, which I am for C. 4 A, B, and C. So pretty much that means the type of curl pattern. And whether it's coarse or fine, it works, but the curl pattern is, is best for uh, more curly hair than more straighter hair, if that makes sense. Because you have any type of curl pattern at all, my props will work at enhancing that, keeping the moisture in there, the moisture balance, and causing less split ends, frizz, and breakage. Trying to understand the different type of hair. Because I think I'm totally lost. Can you explain to me like a little bit about the type of hair that you can say? Uh, okay, okay, so um, I'm talking about here about the hair texture in itself. So the hair texture, I can work anywhere with fine hair. So fine hair is considered thinner than a thread. To coarse hair, which is considered thicker than a thread, and medium is just the same uh, width as a thread. So the width doesn't is not really the problem. The texture, which is I'm talking about, whether it's curly hair, wavy hair, or straight hair, my products work best with wavy and curly hair. And we have like not even wavy and curly. We have kind of like kinks, like coils. And so my hair also works with coily hair. So that's a hair that really doesn't have a, a structured curl pattern, which is kind of all over the place. Okay. So 4C here is considered the, back then, if I was getting teased, they would have called my hair nappy hair. So that's 4C here. They're considered very undefined. It shrinks all the way up. And it kind of looks nappy once it's not taken care of. But as you can see, our hair is very beautiful. We just need to know how to take care of it. Something that caught my eye. I, I met you during the summer of last year, and you mentioned you have not used a comb yes. in your hair. Yes. I'm trying that. <laughs> Tell me, how is that possible? Okay, so I believe with my whole heart that a comb was really never meant for women of color with curly 
or even women who are white or Spanish or Chinese who have curly type of hair, curly type of coily hair. Because a comb is meant to go through least resistance. There should be nothing restricting that comb. And once you have a curl pattern, once you move it through the comb through the curl pattern, you will automatically cause damage even when you do not need to. So I learned that we can use our hands, but we have to have the right products to provide, provide that slip so that we can detangle with our hands without breaking our own hair. Because remember I told you before, a problem we have is dryness. So you cannot detangle dry hair. You have to get it in the moist state. And when it's moist, uh, your hair is stronger than when it's dry. For us, for women of color. So I haven't used a comb in four years. I teach women how to use their hands to detangle the table. So, uh, <laughs> so how has it been for you since you've been trying the technique? Um, so I knew you were coming, so I took some pictures like before and after, and I've said this, I think this is my product. It works very well. I use it for my daughter. Um, her hair is, since the summer, her hair is like past half of her back. Oh wow. Um, mine is getting there. I feel the fullness. It looks healthier. So it's definitely a great product. <laughs> Thank you. We will put the pictures of before and after. <laughs> yeah. So. And so funny you said it because my daughter just reached waistline and for two years her hair was not growing and I couldn't figure it out because I'm like, her daddy has a good texture here and I know my hair is on a little, you know. <laughs> but together I thought we would produce, you know, some beautiful hair children and it was like something was stunting the growth yeah. and then I got rid of the chemicals in Johnson Johnson, baby products, you know, they were being sued and I started using my products and I could see now the benefits. Tell me a little bit more about the, the, the chemicals in the, the other product that we Okay, so most products, if it's not really stated natural, and even that is a catch-22, most products have like sulfates and parabens and mineral oils and petroleum. And if you think about petroleum, Petra is the, uh, the beginning of that word, which is a, a oil, which is a gas. And they're using it into these products that we're supposed to be using as skin enhancement products or beauty care products and they're very dangerous for us. Our skin is the largest organ of our body and therefore the more chemicals you put on it, the more you're prone to cancers and lupus and tumors and fibroids and all kind of other stuff that we don't really need. And so I am, uh, how do you say, I, I preach about using natural products organic as much as you can get and I preach that um, if you read a product and you see words you cannot pronounce yeah you know, like <laughs> more than likely you shouldn't put on you because some people think about okay the angles of health and what I eat but it's more than what you eat because your skin absorbs all of that so you might as well be eating it. You just have to think about it that way. I remember somebody said um, that if you can't eat it, don't put it on your skin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does the same thing. It, it takes it right in and you get all these toxins in your body. So does it, who does your product help? Well, my product, we're geared to really helping women with hair loss. So if you have hair loss like alopecia, thinning edges, breakage that you cannot control, uh, excessive shedding, our products are geared to that. As a matter of fact, I am a sufferer of alopecia. Now, alopecia is an autoimmune disease. They don't really know what you know where it comes from. It is the many factors that cause it. It could be the uh, environment, it could be the food, it could be the, uh, this, you know, like everything from gas to uh, hormones. They're not really sure, but what it does, it takes away your hair, like your skin. So you'll see a lot of bald spots in your scalp that could range from circles to full scalp. Okay, so I have um, not, I don't have tension alopecia, I have t alopecia reta. And so far I get, I would get chunks of hair falling out, I'll just wake up one day, that full spot is gone. So there's no actual tension pulling it. 
and so my last one which was bought as my my hand is now well, I'm talking a little bit for it so it's, like, <laughs> it's now this long it's growing back as you can see and so I help women who have suffering from alopecia so my, I have a full growth system that help grow out the hair whether it's breakage here breakage on the top of the head breakage at the neck the nape neck area so that's where we specialize in and when you start choosing someone, how long do you usually think? Um, what's the average time that takes? To see good results? Yes. Okay, so with hair grows between a quarter inch every month, which is about uh, a half inch every month, which is one full inch every two months. So your hair should grow technically, this is the majority, uh, for the most best case scenario, six inches a year. So with people who lose their hair through autoimmune, or autoimmune disease, it's kind of slower. So I would tell them by three months, if they don't see any type of fuzz or anything, then just be a little bit concerned, maybe it's a type of level of your alopecia. But within about two to three months, they should see fuzz, they should see hair growing back out. It's not going to be as the fast rate as people with no issue. Because remember, autoimmune disease means that your body attacks itself. So it's just attacking your hair follicles. But I believe that everything for healing is in the ground. God gave us the best herbs in the world, whether it's rosemary, sage, basil, bay leaf. So we have all the ingredients we need to help out with it. What about for men? <laughs> yes, I, I've helped men not only with the hair on their head, but with their beard. The, the beard thing is in. Men want those thick beards these days. <laughs> Some men, they have. <laughs> They have very scanty areas and they want to fill it in. So most of the men use the same hair products, but they use it on their hair. So it's all about the, the massaging of the products. All right. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, in your research, um, what impact does food play in the hair in the hair? Got you. Okay, so people think most times, well, I could just buy the right product and that's the quick fix. And that's not the case. You want best results, you have to eat healthy, you have to drink a lot of water, you have to make sure the food you're eating, because your hair in itself is made up of a lot of things that are supplied in the food, like protein. Our hair is made up of keratin and is a hard protein. Keratin, that type of protein can be found in food. For our hair to grow, we need vitamin A, we need vitamin B12, we need minerals, we need um, proteins. So just don't think that you could just use a, a shampoo and a little, uh, hair oil and it's just gonna make the best difference. No, your hair needs moisture from the outside and it also needs moisture from the inside. So you have to drink a lot of fluids each day, half of your body weight um, in ounces. You have to um, eat healthy, a balanced meal. So most of my clients, when they get on my program, because I do an actual, like, uh, you know, you go to the gym and you get a physical fitness person who works hand in hand with you. Well, I'm a hair coach. So most of my clients, they join up to my class and for two months we do everything together. So when I wash my hair, they wash their hair and eating is also part of that regimen. So we will make meals together and we will actually drink hair smoothies. So it's really good to see them realizing, yeah, oh, I got to eat right. And I'm like, yes, you have to eat right. <laughs> Hair smoothie. Hair smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made a smoothie the other day with um, carrot, with sweet potato, uh, what else? Carrot, sweet potato, and apple was in there. And we try not to mix the fruits and the vegetables together, so it all depends on their threshold for eating healthy. So I work with them, because some people are like, I don't want to eat that <laughs> or drink that. So, do you have a setting for that? Or? Yes, we do it online, we do online classes, okay. and if I have a hair workshop, they, they're allowed to attend that workshop, because they, they, when they pay that one fee, it entitles them to everything, plus they get uh, weekly counseling from me, so they'll call me for 10 minutes and I go over strategies to grow up there. Okay, what words of encouragement would you all have for the ladies out there that are looking? Well, my words of encouragement would be, would be that you don't need to settle. We as women of color don't need to settle. I think all along we've been taught to settle. We look at shows on TV and they really don't really reflect us. 
they have women with straight hair, Beyonce, and their weaves are blowing in the wind, and we think that we're inadequate. So we end up camouflaging our own true beauty by getting a lot of uh, beauty supply makeups and weaves and wigs and braids, and our braids are touching our butt and hip. And we don't take the time to realize that we have the potential that God already gave it us. He gave us the potential to grow long hair just like all the others. And so I always use uh, the scripture reading, which is my whole um, my whole line is founded on, is First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse fifteen, which says, "If a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair was given her for cover." So I fully and firmly believe that we all have the capability of growing long hair. So I would tell you today, don't settle. If you want long hair, you have to work at it, just like if you want to be a healthy weight. If you want to be uh, healthy, you have to eat right, and there's no difference in your hair. You have to treat it. Uh, you have to be very cautious taking care of it. You have to. It have to be on the your top ten things to do every day. Like, okay, did I uh, detangle my hair today? Did I moisturize it? Did I eat anything that's beneficial for my hair? So I think about my hair ninety percent of the day, <laughs> and that is why today is, is to my waist because I make sure I consider it in everything I do. Even putting on a hat, am I rushing to put on my hat? No, I take my time and I put my ends away and I put on my hat. <laughs> So, um, how can people contact you? Okay. Get in touch with the well, my phone number is 347-645-7906, and my name is Anne Marie Brown. My website is www. the letter S, the letter N, the letter L, organics.com, okay? So you can go on my website, you can order my products. We ship all over the U.S. You can call me first to find out what products you really need, because everyone doesn't need everything. There are some people who come to me just to grow their hair. And then there's some people who come to me because their hair is long but it's unmanageable. And then there's others who come to me because their hair is constantly shedding or constantly breaking. So I help different products are geared to different things. <laughs> so, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. For, being, for taking the time to be with us. And we can, we're going to continue to use your product. <laughs> Thank you. So our her information will definitely be posted down below. Thank you again for everyone for tuning in to All Be Makes Sense. And if you like this video, remember to share and give it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you next time. You are beautiful.